Hey guys, um, so a friend of mine over in Japan actually asked me a really good question, um, and it was regarding, you know, this whole slave thing, because what, you know, what people learn in other countries is not what we learn here. Um, for instance, I had to explain to him, and if you guys want to, you can look it up, that blacks were not always slaves in this country. Um, we weren't. We didn't start off as slaves in this country. Uh, we didn't come to this country as slaves. In fact, many of your ancestors came to this country as just explorers, really. Um, and a lot came as indentured servants. Um, some, I should say, did come as indentured servants in which, but indentured servitude was you paid off your debt and then you were done. That was it. Um, a lot of Europeans were indentured servants here. And if you wish, you can look it up. There was an uprising among all of the um, indentured servants. And during that uprising, it got very difficult to tell who was who. <laughs> you know, because everyone wore the same shit. There, was, there were no classes like, you know, someone was wearing a silk petticoat and the other was wearing a, a, a sack. That wasn't how it worked. Um, so everybody pretty much looked the same. They had no idea who they were killing. So what did they do? They figure, well, we got to find an easier way <laughs> to tell people apart. And what's the easiest way? Blacks. Um, and, of course, blacks weren't going to just go into indentured servitude. That just wasn't what they were about. So they were forced into slavery instead. Many died. Many died uh, rather than go into slavery. Um, and even then, not all of them ended up being slaves. Because if, if you really stop and think about it, only the rich people owned slaves. Everyone else were peasants. So, you know, all, all of those folks who think, oh, you know, the Confederate flag is my heritage. Mm -mm. No, it's not. You were a peasant, just like everyone else. The chances that you or your family owned slaves are very slim. Because if you did, you'd be living in a lot of... Uh, family wealth right now <laughs> and there'd be a lot more of you and really the people who own slaves are the people who are in power now so you have to understand white folks that you guys were peasants you guys were literally one step above slaves one step and they only kept that one step because they wanted to keep the peace otherwise the rich would have had all of y'all asses enslaved along with us. If it wasn't for the whole confusion factor and everything else, if you didn't have a tattoo on your face or you weren't wearing a certain piece of jewelry, they didn't know who the hell you were. So that's your little uh, tidbit of black history information there that we weren't always slaves. Uh, the Confederate flag is not white people's heritage or white southerners' heritage. It really isn't because they were peasants. Uh, most of them had nothing, and those who had something were working out in the fields alongside the slaves. So you can go on ahead and think that's your heritage all you want. That's fine, um, because the Confederate flag really isn't your heritage. Uh, <laughs> sorry, white people and black people. We weren't always slaves. You know, when people think that, um, you know, blacks were just conquered and captured and everything else, most people don't even understand how Africans worked. Africans didn't even fight until Shaka Zulu. Okay? Wars between African tribes were not fought with violence. Uh, they were fought with displays of strength and displays of grandeur. Um, if you think about the war dances and stuff like that, that's how battles were fought, and that's how battles were either lost or won. We didn't kill each other. There was no fighting until Shaka Zulu. Okay? No physical violence until Shaka Zulu. You can look it up. It's like, sure, there were certain, there might have been certain zones where people might have been a little more violent than others, aka Egypt. And even then, it was Egypt after Arabic occupation. Um, but this is why blacks were you know, not that hard to catch. We didn't fight physically. Not until Mr. Zulu came out and got people trained and started fighting back. 
So don't think that we're violent people. We're not. The violence that you see is the violence that we learn from our captors. It's the violence that we've learned from, you know, those who perpetuate violence on us. Now, you know, people say, but you make the choice to be violent. Well, yes, you do. You make, you make that damn choice. You make that choice every damn time you decide to be violent, you decide to argue, you decide to shoot someone, you decide that you're going to shoot up a nine-year-old girl and, you know, nobody says it. All of that is stuff we learn. And here's the thing that you have to understand about learning. You will, <clears throat> and it is inevitable, you will pick up the traits of your teacher. You'll pick up their values. You'll pick up their mannerisms. You'll pick up, you know, even their thought patterns. Okay, that's what you get from your teachers. So when people wonder why blacks are so violent, they got it from their teachers. Now, understand that we have to make a choice to reject these things and, and to know and recognize that there's a different way to be. That's our fault. That's our doing, because nobody today is doing this to you. They really aren't. <clears throat> Given the numbers of African Americans, we're really... We occupy the, the Southeast. That's it. And even then, occupation of the Southeast by blacks is still sparse. There are whole entire cities that are nothing but white, and you know, white folks who have never seen a black person outside of television. What does all that mean? <laughs> I mean, look, look at how few of us there are. Look at how... But yet we're always in the news. And given how few of us there are, and looking at, like, police violence is what someone would actually point to today, more, vi more police violence is being exposed and shown this is true. But police are killing everybody. The killing of everybody needs to stop. And then we talk about Black Lives Matter, but then, once again, nine-year-old girl killed. These are things that we have to change. You know, we can't blame that on slavery. And understand, and, and he, here's the part and point of knowing your history as a black person and as to what you are. You're constantly being told that you're violent. You're constantly being told that you're not worth a pinch of shit. You're constantly being told these things. No one's letting you know what your real history is, what your real background is. Perhaps if you recognize that as a people we were not violent and that we were not even forcing ourselves to be to be violent until people started dying on mass it took that it took mass killings and shit and occupation by europeans for africans to say we need to fight back and even then they were more humane in their violence than we see anything today in america they were more humane in their violence than americans are so understand this, your people are not violent. This is why your people were, were enslaved. Now some, some might say, well, they were enslaved you know, because you know, they got their asses kicked and, and, and whites are just better and that's it. And really? Is violence really the way? Does violence really make you better? Does violence really make you superior? Not in my view. In my view, violence only shows that you are wicked and depraved. It only shows that you have no soul. It only shows that whatever God there may be out there missed you. That's all. Violence is a mental disorder. Humans aren't put here to wipe each other out. Blacks, surely we're not put here to wipe each other out. We're the first people. Given that we're the first people, if we're the first people and we were put here to wipe each other out, the human race wouldn't have gotten anywhere anywhere I, I i've been holding off on making a video about you know all the shit that's going on and and, and mostly because it, it it pisses me off and i can't think straight it's rare that i cannot think straight it pisses me off that much and it's not just the violence against black people it's the lies that the American public as a whole is being told. So, I mean, here's what's happening. There's police violence out there, but what they are doing is they're making good television. 
So, hey, it's a white cop against a black guy. That's horrible. But what we're not realizing is that cops are killing everybody. The media is selling it as black against white. That's how the media is selling it. And we're eating it up. Even I ate it up. We're eating it up. The media is creating division because that's what the people who are in charge want. Do you know that you know the, the indentured servants, both black and white, because they were on the same level, and they were told they were on the same level, I should say, they fought together because of the injustice against indentured servants. Do you think the people in power want that to happen again? To have, you know so-called middle-class whites and so-called middle-class blacks because the reality is 80% of us, 80% of African Americans are middle-class or higher. That leaves 20% of our population to be the trash that they show on television. We don't all live in ghettos. The ghetto is not the black neighborhood. The ghetto is not the black community. The black community, unfortunately, has integrated. So if you want to see the black community, you're going to have to go to the white suburbs in the east. Because that's what blacks did. Okay, the black community, 80% of us are middle class. Middle class or higher. So not all of us are poor. So stop thinking that. Understand? Understand what the media is doing to you? They're telling you that we're poor, we're violent, that we're the ones on welfare, we're the ones getting handouts, we're the ones doing all this shit. Don't get it twisted. The black community has a problem with this 20%. Because this 20% is vocal. This 20% is loud. This 20% demands attention. They demand it. And we sit back and go, hmm, niggas, go figure. Instead of us being vocal, instead of us demanding attention, saying, look at us, this is the black community, they are trash, the ghetto is essentially the equivalent of a white trash trailer park, that is what the ghetto is, stop thinking the ghetto is the black community and that we all act that way and that, you know, this is how, just, this is just how blacks are. Stop letting the, and black people, stop letting the media tell you that this is how we are. Know where you came from. You came from people who were not violent. You came from people, you, do you know what Africans did when they conquered other tribes? They didn't conquer other tribes with violence. They integrated the other tribes. Whenever they won their war dance, which is essentially what we were doing in the 80s, right? Remember that shit? Before people were getting shot in the street, you had a problem. You had a break dance in the middle of the street. You fucking, you danced that shit out. That was it. That was our cellular memory right there. That was our history showing itself, even though we didn't know it. And when we did win, that tribe would integrate with us. We didn't kill the men and kill the male children and rape the women. We didn't do that. They, we called them family after we won. So we've, we settled our differences without violence. And when we won, we saw, the, we, we saw the people we won against. And the people who lost saw us as family. They worked together. That is what Africans are. Peaceful, shamanistic people. Peaceful. Stop letting the media fill your brain with bullshit. Stop acting out the bullshit. Because now you're acting like children and really that's what they wanted. They wanted to make us perpetual children. Without daddy or mommy there to tell us what to do. Or with daddy and mommy there encouraging us to be violent encouraging us saying you ain't shit w would look at it go to any child psychologist and ask them the effects of having a parent or having someone in authority constantly tell a child they ain't shit they're violent 
they're this, they're that, everything negative. Ask them and find out what they have to say. Because that's what we're going through right now. A lot of those children end up in therapy in order to fix it. And some of us, I'm sorry, black people, we fucking need therapy. We do. Perhaps if we got therapy, we'd realize a couple of things. Go back to your roots. Go back to what you were. Peaceful, nonviolent, shamanistic people. People like to say that gays didn't exist in Africa. That's a bold-faced fucking lie. Not only is it a bold-faced lie... There was no violence against gays until Christianity came into Africa. That is when they recognized gay as gay, and that is when they started the violence against gays. That is bullshit. Christianity is bullshit, and they sold it to us, and we ate it. We were a peaceful, shamanistic people. We were easily taken as slaves... Because we did not believe in taking the lives of other people. So why are we doing it now? Black lives fucking matter. Yes, they do. They need to matter to us, though. Instead, we're doing exactly what they wanted us to do. We're being violent and we're killing each other. And that's bullshit. That 20%, because that 20%, that's a lot of fucking people when your entire population is only this fucking big anyway in the country. To have 20% of you killing each other is ridiculous. To have any of us scared of another black person is ridiculous. Scared? We're not a violent people. We need to stop with the bullshit. Stop with the Black Lives Matter movement. Stop it. Because right now, they don't matter to us. No one wants to stop and even try to think about or remember who they were, where they came from. Is it necessary to kill someone for something stupid? He stepped on my shoes. Fuck your shoes. He has an iPhone. Bitch, get a job. Make your own job. White man won't give me a job. Bitch, make your own damn job. Fuck the white man waiting for... Were you waiting for Godot? Fuck it. You don't need their approval. You don't need anyone's approval. You don't have to wait for them to give you a job. Make a job. And hire other black people. You don't have to wait for them to, 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 you know, stop shooting you. Infiltrate the fucking police. If you actually had black folks police and black folks, maybe things would be a little bit different. Well, I got to sell drugs because, you know, I can't get no job. Make a job that is legal. Oh, they done shot so-and-so. He was robbing the fucking store. Now, when we start seeing stories of innocent people, I mean 100% innocent, no criminal record, no interactions with the cops, none of that bullshit, getting killed and slaughtered by police, we then have a problem. But when you've got people who are putting themselves in the sights of police, because when you commit a crime, that's just what you do. The first time you are arrested, they know you. They know you. And given that they know you, after the first time you're arrested, you can understand, best believe, and bet on the fact that they will be looking for you every damn time you leave the house. So because you could not think outside of yourself, you could not think outside of what you wanted, and you ate up those lessons taught to you by a violent person and violent people, because you ate it and you don't want to see a better way, you done got yourself in a situation where cops can almost legally just kill you. Is that what you want? It doesn't it makes no sense. It makes no sense that a 9-year-old girl is is doing her homework in her mother's bed and gets shot and killed. No sense. It makes none. 
you know, I, I, I'm not one for, you know, kids and all that other shit. Hell, I'm a faggot, remember? But I'm smart enough to recognize that we need these children. We need them. And we need these children to grow up and be productive members of black society. And remember, black society is nonviolent, shamanistic, and peaceful. I've rambled. I've, I don't know if I've even stuck to the subject because the whole topic pisses me off and I, I, I just can't even think straight when it comes down to it because yes I'm sick of seeing my people getting killed at least twice a week I'm sick of seeing it it hurts my heart to see it but how hurt can I be when our trailer track because you, you, you even go to the white trailer trash trailer parks guess what they're not doing killing each other so I get to watch our 20% dragged across the goddamn TV screen every goddamn day because they can't seem to figure out how to be peaceful because they were taught some seriously shitty lessons and they can't break free from the brainwashing they see each other as adversaries how can you look at another black man someone who looks just like you and see an adversary Be fearful. How can you see another man who looks just like you and want to kill him? Want to do harm? Want to rob? Why the fuck are we out here supporting everybody else's business but our own? You know, I'm doing the whole wealth building series because I just want to try and help us get out of this hole and See that there are things you can do for yourself, but I'll be damned if it is not the most discouraging thing in the world to A, be told by so-called pro-blacks that I don't matter because I'm a fag, to sit here and watch, you know, ghetto people tell, you know, don't tell us what to do. If I want to kill someone, so I'm going to do it. To see white folks say, see, niggas are violent. And then to have the media do nothing but perpetuate the bullshit. Separate everyone from themselves. Working class is working class. And they've separated the working class. They've done that successfully. Now they're separating the subcultures of the, of the working class. And we can't seem to figure out that we are peaceful, shamanistic, nonviolent people. And that what we're doing is against our very DNA. It's against, and I say against our DNA because I'm talking about cellular memory, okay? We all came from this one place. It's in our DNA to not be violent, yet here we are doing it. Which is probably why most of us aren't happy. And there's also probably more of a reason for most of us to go and seek mental help. Um, there, there's nothing wrong with going to therapy. There really isn't. And uh, there's nothing wrong with not killing Ray Ray down the street. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with starting your own business. There's nothing wrong with opening your own grocery store, opening your own corner store, and telling the Arabs that are making money off of you and taking that money back to their neighborhood, taking that money back to their country, Less than a penny of our of, of each black paycheck remains in the black community. Less than a penny. We're too busy giving it to everybody else. Open your own damn store. Hire black people. Open your own software company. Hire black people. Open your own web design company if you're a black web designer and you can't get a job. And hire people. You know, if, 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 if you if if you only know manual labor. Open your own construction business. Open your own contracting business. Hire people. Be your own man. Stop waiting for the white man. Stop waiting for the man. 
fuck the man. Because that's what he's saying to you. Fuck you. So fuck him. Do your own, do for yourself. Whatever. I, that's all I got. This is Link Savage with Brutal Links. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. If you come at me with bullshit, trust me, I will read you for the filth. Go to Brutal Links on Facebook. Like. Join. Follow me on Twitter, at Link Savage. And try to have a good Tuesday, guys.